out of control AIDS in black America is the recipient of the next Peabody. In this documentary, facts and figures, personal anguish and community efforts are combined in a telling analysis of a public health crisis. In the black gay community, there has been almost no organized activism. And that's been a significant force in the spread of AIDS. When you start talking about sex, there's a problem. And when you start talking about homosexuality, it's a real problem. Nobody wants to deal with it. I know a few communities as conservative as the African-American community, extremely conservative, particularly around sex. Executive producer Tom Yellen is here to accept the Peabody. We're uh, extremely honored to be joining the other winners of the Peabody. This is really something. Um, this story was brought to us by my colleague, Betsy Arledge. She conceived of it and executed it under almost extraordinary circumstances. It turned out to be the final uh, uh, documentary that aired on ABC under the Peter Jennings reporting uh, banner. And that has particular poignancy because when Peter and I first started doing uh, documentaries in primetime for ABC, the series was conceived of by Betsy's father, Rune Arledge. Um, and the tradition of doing documentaries in prime time has been continued and supported enormously by David Weston, the president of ABC News. When we brought him the story, he said yes in a heartbeat and understood its importance right away. I don't think he's ever gotten credit for that. I hope that begins to change because he runs such a successful news division. The documentaries aren't recognized for what they should be. Terry Moran did an enormously great job of stepping in for Peter after Peter got sick. Casey Freed Jennings was the one who made us make the show better. And just a brief word about Peter. Uh, when we began this program, Peter shot the very first scene, and then he got sick, and he was unable to continue. And um, when we finished editing it, Betsy and I cut Peter out, because there was obviously a little bit awkward to include Peter long after he had gone. But after we cut him out, we were forced to put him back because the show just wasn't as good without him in it. And I think one of the hallmarks of Peter's career over the years, aside from his legendary skill as a broadcaster, was his ability to force himself onto the air through the strength and the quality of his reporting. All of the producers and others who worked with him over the years know that's what he did over and over again. So I'm very, very pleased to accept this award in Peter's honor for that skill. Thank you very much.